Hello. I'm going to be using for the first time this pressure cooker. I've never ever used one of these before. And it's kind of scary. All right, so I'm gonna put two cups of water. I'm just gonna steam some um, green beans, okay? This is brand new. I just unpacked it and I just washed everything. So I'm gonna add two cups of water. Okay, so to add two cups of water and use this cup. Okay, so, you know, it says to put it up to number two, but I'm using the basket. Hold on. I'm going to be reading while I'm trying this. Pour about two cups of water into the inner pot. Put the cooking stand into the inner pot, which I did. Make sure that the outside of the cooking pot is dry, and it is. Put the vegetables or, or fish in a suitable dish. For small food or cooked rice, use a heat resistant bowl. I'm gonna use this right here, okay? I wonder, you know, I'm gonna add some more water. That doesn't look like enough. It says to put the bottom up to number two. I hope that's okay. I hope it doesn't explode or anything weird happen. Okay, so I've never used one of these before. This is the first time. I just hope everything turns out okay. I, um, this was delivered a while ago. I just have not gotten around to reading the instructions and I finally did that today. I just hope it comes out okay. I don't feel like dealing with any surprises. That's enough. I'm going to put these back in the freezer. never used one of these appliances before and I don't know what to expect. All right, so we put these away. We just don't want any explosions, right? Okay, so there it is. So I, I did that, okay, blah, blah, blah. I just have to be brave. Okay, it's all in there. It should be fine. The water's in there, it's underneath there, it's not touching. Ah, oh, this is nerve wracking, okay. Here is the lid. Everything looks fine. I read the instructions many times. I'm assuming that everything's going to be fine. That's the back. I put the condensation thingy on the back, like I said. Okay, now I'm going to do lock. It's locked, okay? It's locked there, and it says... There's so many repetitive pages, and I've read so many different places. That's in the... I gotta check something. I already checked that's in the right position. Okay. Um, uh, the pin. I don't want to turn it. Be, and look at when I moved it, it w that thing wiggled. Why? I don't know. The pin is gone. Okay, good. It's locked. See? It's totally locked. It's like I'm gonna get all paranoid now. So if it was unlocked, see this pin right here would pop out, okay? It's locked. We just don't want anything weird happening. Let me make sure the pan is not falling down. No, it's still on there. It's locked. Whew, okay. Um, close the lid. Da, da, da. 
Okay, I gotta plug it in now. Here we go. And I and I made sure I took all the packing material out. It's like, why am I so paranoid? Let me move this out of the way. And it's on this one. Okay. All right, I'm plugging it in. Sometimes, I don't like how some of these plugs, they're aimed the wrong way, and then the cord, I want it to go away from the unit, not towards it, so now I have to move it over here. Oh, let's hope for the best. Okay. Now, I read all of the precautions, it's locked, and when it's done, I'm not supposed to even open it until after that thing goes back down. Oh, let's hope for the best. It's on, okay. Now, all right, so now, press vegetable steam. Can you see that? Vegetable steam, okay? For eight minutes, that's what it said. Press the start button. And then we're gonna hope for the best. Where's the start button? Oh, start. Oh, please don't let anything go wrong. Okay, it's going to do a preheating thing. Now, I'm going to stand out of the way in case it decides it's going to explode open. So, I'm going to stand back. And then, um, I'm going to leave the camera on. Okay, I'm going to leave the camera on. Let's move anything delicate out of the way. I need my Diet Pepsi. I'm, I'm just going to go over here. I'll leave the camera on. Okay, press start. Let me see. When cooking is complete, press the stop button and then unplug your cooker. Okay, well, let me look at, I have to look at the warning lights here. It'll, it'll tell me, it's gonna just start by itself when it's ready. And it's locked, I checked it three times, it's locked, because it's gonna build pressure up, which is very frightening. Okay, so let's see, the lights, I don't even know why I bought this thing. Okay, where's the lights? Alert sounds, display messages, and lights. Okay, plug in your cooker. One, two, three, four. Those are the press the program button. I did that. So I start circular flashing, which it's doing. Pressure builds up. Ooh, I wonder if the pressure is building up in there. Countdown timer, program ends. Two, okay, when the program ends, it's gonna do two short and one long beep. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stand back now. All right, so let's see. And then I'll press stop after that happens. I'm surprised it's not making a lot of noise. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Oh my goodness. I don't like using new things, especially things that involve heat. I need to make a pathway. I had to move some appliances out of the way. I need to make a pathway in case I need to get that thing out of here. Oh, I need coffee. I guess it's working. It seems kind of strange how it's doing that. I think the pressure is building. Let's take a look at the light thing here. It says program starts 10 seconds after being selected. Circular flashing, pressure builds up. So the timer content, no, the timer countdown has not begun yet. 
You know, I smell the green beans. I smell, I smell them. What's going on? So when the program ends, it's going to say O and H, and two short and one long beat. Okay, um, and then I'm going to press stop. I hope everything's okay in there. This is nerve wracking. is going on. Alright, I'm going to turn this light off because I can see the lights. It's locked. I checked it three times. hear some noise. You know, I need to shut the back window. The traffic is distracting me. Something should be happening. I just, I'm, I'm not sure about those lights. Can you see the lights? I hope so. Yeah. Do you see how it's flashing? I'm going to just turn the camera off for now. I'll be back. Hopefully everything will be okay. Okay, it did go to the next step just fine. Now it says eight minutes. So that circular lighting was when it was heating up. So now the timer is on for eight minutes. So I will be back when it's done. Five more minutes. Okay, it's on the last minute and it should say OH when it's done according to the manual. And then I will press stop and unplug it and I'm not allowed to open it at that point. It's gonna still be too hot. All of these instructions, oh boy. I don't think I've ever read a manual so thoroughly like this because I've never used one of these things before. I just make everything. I used to use a rice cooker and I used to eat rice and I made my vegetables. Oh, okay, there it is, OH. Now I press stop. Now I have to go over here and unplug it. So here I go. It's so unplugged. I'm gonna see what it says now. Now I cannot open the lid. Now what's gonna, do you see that little, I don't think you can see that. Let me, do you see that little thing right there, Where's, can you see that little silver thing? That has to go all the way down before I'm even allowed to open it because even though it's off, it's still cooking. You know, kind of like spaghetti. When you turn it off, it's still cooking. 
Okay, so let me get my, it says, all right, other than this, okay, carefully move the food, use the utensils, and put it in a single dish. Cool, cool, and completely before cleaning. Okay. So I still don't understand why they scatter the same instructions throughout the book. And they can just put them in one place so I don't have to go back and forth and make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, well, I'm going to let it cool. That thing has to go all the way down. I can't open it yet. So I'm going to keep checking it. I have to wait for it to go down. And then I'll, I'll turn the camera back on as I'm taking the green beans out. Okay, I'm back. As you can see from this plate here, I got really hungry waiting because I forgot to do something. I was waiting for something to happen and it wasn't happening because I forgot to do something. I didn't want to open it because it says you have to wait for this little valve button thing to go down and then you wait even past that for it to cool down further. Well, it wasn't going down and I didn't know why. And I was just rewriting some quick instructions so I don't have to keep flipping around. And I had to move this from the vent to the, to the vent to the pressure release. Okay, so that thing pops out. Ah, okay. All right, so I think I can open it now. Now, I have to unlock it and then I have to stand back. Okay, so unlock goes this way. It's not hot at all, but it says to turn it this way and to not to, to open it the opposite way. Look at all of that lint. Good grief. And these things, it's coming off all over. Okay. Okay, yeah, the steam's not bad. So let's shake this off. So everything was successful. Nothing bad happened. It's always scary using something new. Um, will that stay up there? Yeah. Okay, so here are my green beans. So, you know, I'm going to switch to my other gloves. Let me get my blue piggy. I don't like these red ones. I'm going to throw them out because they have lint coming off of them. Very annoying. All right, let's get these out. I like these. These are my little piggy ones. See? Cute little piggies. They're not as absorbent, but they're actually thinner so I can get my hand in here. I'm sure it's very hot in there. I feel, I feel the eat okay so here are my green beans and there's there's so much steam in there because water in there so here's what i'm going to do i have to get my other thing out now so here's what we'll do we'll just use this one those are my clean dishes just dump them in here And I'm, I'm full. I'll still eat them though because I did make them. Um, I'm gonna put them on that paper plate. What am I doing? I don't need to use those. It has my sweet potato on there, but so it doesn't look real nice. But one less dish for me to do later. Let me season these up. I'm just gonna eat them plain because I have a bunch of frozen foods in there that I really have to use up. This water in here is driving me crazy. I'm gonna pour it out right now. Actually, I'm not, because I can't get a good grasp on it, and I'm gonna let it cool before I even attempt to throw it out. So I'm plugged. Let me get my black pepper. I need to um, eat all of these frozen vegetables that I have in my freezer. Because what I what happens is, this happens like every week, but I've been really good this time, um, this week, 
is um, I forget what I have because sometimes I'm, I forget to even look. So when I'm at the store, I just, just buy it again. And that's been happening. And then my freezer is like packed. So I have to eat all of this stuff up. So let me just taste it before I turn the camera off. That's all I put on it is black pepper. These are big, long string beans. They're skinny, but big. Mmm. They're not soggy at all. Now, this thing cooked for eight minutes. Mmm. Kind of like crunchy-ish. But you can tell they're done. This paper plate, I shouldn't have used it, actually, because... This fork is like poking a hole in it almost. Uh, mm -hmm. The next thing I'm gonna make there is um, sweet potatoes that I need to use. But I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna sit down now, eat this, and then I gotta head out. Bye.